thanks for watching everybody if you liked that video um, don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel there'll be more videos coming it's just the videos are kind of slow right now because I'm doing a lot of smaller jobs that I just forget to film so yeah and uh, oat harvest is coming so stay tuned for that see ya Second cutting of the year. See back there, they're testing the moisture bale. You know, the So we just finished this hay field right here. This field is done. It's one of our two hay fields this year. And uh, this tractor, it wouldn't have been, this tractor wouldn't have gotten done. And that baler. So we had three racks off this field, well, two and a half, sort of. Well, two and three quarters, three fourths. Three quarters. Uh, something like that. And uh, so we're gonna get these hay racks back and put them inside just so in case there's a surprise rain shower it doesn't hit them. It was supposed to rain today, here on Sunday, but it didn't rain. It was sunny today. We got, start, we got a late start, but that was really nice because it wasn't as hot, and, uh, and well, it worked out. So, yeah, so the, we're done with this field. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna run that tractor back home because we live a little ways away, down one road, down another road, and then we're home. So yeah, let's, uh, that's good. That's field one done for second hay cutting of 2020. I'll see you tomorrow when we're, well not tomorrow, I'll see you in the next few days when we're baling again. Because we gotta cut more hay down and then, you know, ted it, rake it, bale it. You know all that stuff that we do. It's just uh, the process. We had one shear bolt break on us and the baler towards the end. Turns out because we gotta fix some, a little something that broke in here. That's, it's just a safety for something, but we were so close to being on we decided we just finished. So we're gonna get that fixed soon. And then, uh, we shouldn't uh, have any uh, problems there, hopefully. So yeah. 
awesome news today. The guy has just bought the Caterpillar D3 bulldozer that we own. So I'm the bulldozer over there. Right down there. I'll take you with me. So yeah. on the trailer without a problem. Well, it slipped a little bit, but yeah, it worked pretty nice. So we are here bailing the second hay field. Um, we had uh, some pretty hot and humid days and the hay wouldn't dry out completely. So we got a good day that isn't humid and uh, we're bailing. As you can tell, I have a different tractor. So uh, yeah. Okay, so I gotta make this turn here. We are still bailing here. You can see Mike back there. And uh, I'll show you what we're doing here in a minute. And uh, we're into the main rows across the field. We got done with the end. Well, with that one end out, out, outer pass, we got another one right here. this part of the field for the day and now it's time to uh, go unload all the hay racks so tomorrow and the next few days we can get the big part of the field done so yeah and over here we're swathing oats it's looking good but yeah, so, yeah there are the hay racks up there just keep going
different squares. This time with a different tractor. Look silly. There he is going again. It's a John Deere 8320. You guys remember the fast track that used to be on that? Well, different tractor now. New owner, different tractor. So yeah, that's uh that's it right there.